Howie Rose, Josh Lewin with you here at City Field as we get set for the Mets and the San Diego Padres. And in some ways, Josh, a contrast in pitching approaches in this game. You've got R.A. Dickey, who works very quickly and has been particularly effective against Edinson Valquez, who's he's pitched all right. He hasn't had a whole lot of run support. However, he has walked four hitters than any pitcher in the National League. And these guys actually have a history together that's kind of interesting, I think, Cowie. Back in 2006, when the Texas Rangers told R.A. Dickey, hey, it's all knuckleball now. We're going to send you down, and you're going to work on that. Come on up. Well, Dickey tried it. One start, he gave up a record of setting six home runs in that one start against the Detroit Tigers in just three and a third innings. And they figured, well, that needs more work. And down went R.A. Dickey to AAA. Up came Edinson Volquez, replaced R.A. Dickey in the rotation, and he did not do well either. He was 1-6 that year in Texas. It was Johan Santana, the complete game four-hit shutout. You know, his last five innings, the pitch count for Johan Santana, 9 9 9 9 9 I sound like I'm in a World War II movie. First time in the Major League career. Uh, Johan Santana, he had five consecutive innings of fewer than ten pitches. That had never happened before. And for the game, only 96 pitches needed to dispose of a San Diego team that's very young and struggling. They're 17 and 31. Mets take the field on Banner Day. We'll talk a lot about what just happened before the game coming up. It's also Cherry Collins' birthday today. Happy number 63 to the skipper. Well, I don't think he wanted anyone to know that, but we just outed him. Sorry about that. Terry Collins lineup in just a moment. First, we'll get to the Padres lineup, and the lineups are brought to you by American Made, Sub Zero, and Wolf. Turn your dream kitchen into a reality. Exactly as we'd hoped that they would. In other words, there were a lot of really creative messages. There was a lot of beautiful artwork. There were some who were very simplistic in their approach just because they wanted to walk the field and, and say hello, and that's fine as well. But it was exciting, it was fun, and it's just such a piece of who the Mets have been for 50 years it is a delight to have it back and an honor to have been one of the judges yeah it was very very neat to watch americana well at least uh, flushing kana a little uh, iconic met them before the game doc gooden was uh, one of the judges and just threw out a ceremonial first pitch too r.a dickey set to go now here to tell you all about it here's howie all right thank you very much josh dickey to will venable left hand banner and the first pitch knuckleball is in for a call strike nothing and one Pitch fastball inside 1-0, and and the Padres have the infield drastically overshifted against Duda. The third baseman, Chase Headley, all the way where the shortstop would be. The second baseman, Cabrera, is uh, on the edge of the outfield grass and far into the hole, and the shortstop, Perino, is on the right side of second. Right runs, pitch taken down and in, throw to second, not in time. Stolen base for David Wright, his fifth of the year. That all worked wonderfully as far as the Mets were concerned because that pitch forced the catcher, Hundley, to reach around. Anyway, Duda will run from first on three and two. Here's the payoff pitch, and it's lined into center field. That's a base hit. In the score is right. Chugging to third is Duda. Holding at first with an RBI single is Daniel Murphy, and the Mets have a one to nothing lead as they strike early once again. Another two-out run for the Mets. They had five yesterday, and they have the most two-out runs in the major leagues. So now it's one and one to Neuenheis, and the infield comes up. They're not all the way in. The one-one in the dirt, back to the backstop. Baxter charging to the plate. There won't be a play on him, and it's two to nothing, New York. Well, and Volquez never even came in to cover. That was just donating right there. If that ball had happened to hit the bricks and bounce back, the only thing that Hundley could have done would be to race the rest of the way to home plate because Volquez was not going to help him out. Oh, you're 100% right. You just cannot take anything for granted. As he heads to the dugout, first met since Pedro Martinez in 2006 with back-to-back -back double digit strikeout games. He tips his cap to the crowd, leaves with a Mets leading 2 to nothing. one out of the eighth inning on the WFAN Mets radio network. Here's the one-two pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a slider. Side retired. Another terrific job by Tim Burdak. No runs, no hits, no errors. Two left. Middle of the eighth inning. The Mets two. The Padres nothing on the WFAN Mets radio network. One and one to Guzman. Outfield around towards right. Francisco deals. Swing and a fly ball to shallow right. New and Heist calling. He's under it. Makes the catch. Put it in the books. 
The New York Mets have recorded their second consecutive shutout. Their staff has now thrown 26 consecutive scoreless innings, and they take three out of four over the weekend from the San Diego Padres, winning this afternoon on Banner Day. In the ninth inning for San Diego, nothing across the final score. The New York Mets two, and the San Diego Padres nothing. Back to talk about it in a moment on the WFAN Mets Radio Network. Let's go, let's go. 